what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video today i'm super excited to be starting a new series here on the channel as you can obviously see from the title and the thumbnail we're going to be learning how to build an instagram this series is going to be a bunch of parts and before we get started in the code i wanted to do some housekeeping so who is this series for so I wouldn't say this is for absolute beginners that aren't familiar with the language. This is for those that are familiar with the language, maybe a little intermediate. Uh, beginners, intermediate, you guys are good to go to follow along. Uh, in addition, I am going to be building out most of the features and we're gonna be using Firebase as our backend. So no custom service scripting or anything fancy like that. That said, I am going to get started with a brand new project. So let's do it. So let's open up Xcode and we're gonna create a new project, single view application. And we're gonna call this bad boy Instagram. And let's go ahead and create it. And sure, let's save it to our desktop and let's get into it. So in this video, we're gonna be setting up some very basic uh, stuff like creating files and just talking about how this application is gonna to come together. The other thing that I will call out is uh, this series, I'm gonna make uh, more of an effort to make each video under 30 minutes. My chat app series uh, was super popular. You guys really liked it. But one thing that I personally uh, think was kind of annoying looking back was some of the videos got kind of long. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes looking at a video that's an hour and a half is kind of annoying. So fingers crossed, if I make long videos, you guys are more than welcome to yell at me. So cool, Instagram. So first things first, we are going to be creating our UI uh, programmatically as well as a little bit of storyboard just to give you guys an exposure of both approaches. So let's talk UI. So we get this view controller by default as a part of this application template when we create it. So this is great, but we actually are gonna need a bunch of more view controllers. So let's create some folders here to start organizing our project. So as I mentioned, we're gonna want some controllers. Now, in addition to controllers, we're gonna want a bunch of views. So we're gonna create a folder for views. We're also gonna want a bunch of models, which is gonna be our data layer. So let's create models. And then the other thing that I like to do is let's also create a folder called resources and resources is basically going to hold everything that doesn't fit into these other three folders. Let's start grabbing stuff and organizing it. Uh, I'm pretty OCD about organization with this kind of stuff. So let's, uh, let's grab uh, the simulator here and let's select that. We're going to run it in a second, but I'm pretty OCD about organization as I was saying. Uh, as your projects get larger, uh, especially with big projects, if you don't organize early on, uh, you end up in quite a bind. So let's put let's put the XE assets in here also. And I'm gonna be a little more over the top and we're gonna create another folder for this. So you can select those and create new group from selection. And we're gonna go ahead and call this storyboards. And cool, looking good. Now, another, another thing that I like to do is let's go ahead and rename this controller that was given to us. It's called view controller, very vague and generic. So we're gonna update all of these names. So this is gonna be a home view controller. And this one will be also a home view controller. And before we forget, what we want to do is head on over to our main.storyboard and because this template was set up with that original controller, we want to change the name here in the storyboard as well. So go ahead and select that controller, open up the attributes inspector here. And I believe if you go to this tab, you want to go ahead and change the name here as well. Otherwise your app is going to crash and we don't want it to crash in the first video, maybe the third video, we'll see. So we've got our home controller set up here and we want to create four more controllers uh, at minimum for the four tabs in our application. So right click, new file, Coco Touch class, UI view controller. And the second tab, I believe in Instagram, they call it explore. So we're gonna create explore view controller. Make sure it's Swift, you don't need a nib file. Enter, enter, and that'll create it. And let's, uh, let's delete this commented out code as we go along since we don't need it. The next one, uh, is going to be uh, post view controller. Now let's call it actually camera view controller. 
So this is the tab that is going to serve uh, as where the user can take pictures, videos, as well as select from their photo library uh, in the flow of uploading a picture or video to post. We're going to hit this new file one more time. And the next one is going to be noti notifications view controller. All right. And the last one, as far as the tabs are concerned, is going to be profile view controller. And let's go ahead and delete these commented blocks like I mentioned. Don't need that. And these five controllers will basically serve as our core app experience. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is select them all. And let's create a new group from the selection. And let's call these core tabs. Now we're going to want other controllers as well, which is why I'm organizing even further. Let's see why this is complaining. Uh, okay, something changed here, it appears. What do we have going on over here? Uh, it looks like this opens it up in two different tabs. So let's go back to one of these, call this core tab. Uh, before we go any further, select the simulator, hit that run button, make sure the application compiles and runs. We should just see a blank controller here, which we do. All right, and let's talk about some other files that we're going to need. Um, so we are going to need other controllers. So naturally, let's add an other folder. And let's create another folder here called onboarding. And this is going to basically be either the login screen or the registration screen. So new view controller, we're going to call this login view controller. And let's do one more. And this one is going to be registration view controller, like so. Awesome. So what else do we need? If we think about it in Instagram, when you tap on a post, it actually opens up another screen, which is more details about one focus post. Uh, so we're gonna do new file. And before I actually do this, let me hit pause. You guys probably hear my computer fan starting to get loud. So let's do new file. Cocoa Touch class, and we're going to say post view controller. And this is going to be the screen where if you tap into a post, it actually just shows you information about that post. And let's see, what else do we want? So you can go through your feed. I don't know yet if we're going to be building stories. I haven't decided. We'll see how, how far we get in the series. We've got your profile. We're also going to want a screen where the user can edit their profile. So we're going to create uh, edit profile view controller. And that brings me to settings as well, actually. So the user might want to make their account public, private, so settings view controller. In addition to that, the user should be able to click on a user's follower or following button and see a list of uh, users the user is being followed by or following. So I'm going to create one controller called list view controller that we're going to use for both both of those uh, UIs. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? So on the discover page, we want to be able to search. So we're going to use a different controller for that. And that's going to be a search view controller. And let's also create a related search result view controller. Like so. And let's see, I feel like we probably need a couple more that I'm not thinking of at the moment. So like I said, uh, not sure if we're going to do stories or even Instagram DM in this, uh, in this series. We'll probably cross that bridge when we get there. But uh, profiles are good to go. Scrollability. Uh, so when the user is posting uh, a photo, we've got this uh, camera view controller. But actually, we probably want another view controller, uh, which is uh, the screen where they can select filters and adjust. So let's call this uh, post editor view controller. And then after the user edits a post, they also have an option to add a caption and tag people, so on and so forth. So we are going to call this uh, publish post view controller. And that should be good to go for now. Otherwise, I'm just getting, getting carried away. So we've got quite a few view controllers that we've got set up here. We're going to need to implement all of these over the duration of this series. 
Uh, but before we actually wrap up this video, I want to do a little bit more. So let's open up our storyboard and go to main.storyboard. And we're going to start by getting rid of this controller, actually. And let me actually also expand my Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work here. We can ignore that simulator for a few minutes. And let's start by grabbing a tab bar controller and dragging it on in. And it'll, by default, give you these two controllers that are connected to it. Go ahead and delete it. Don't need any of those. And select that tab bar controller and in the attributes inspector, check the box for is initial controller. And we're gonna want to connect five navigation controllers to this tab bar controller. So search for a UI navigation controller here. And by default, it gives you this controller connected to it. Go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, and I, I don't think I mentioned that you can just select it and hit backspace and it deletes it. Select this nav controller, copy and paste it until you have five of them. Or you can drag them in five times. I'm just lazy. So we're going to copy and paste. And let's spread these out. And that should be all of them. And let's align these a little more so they look nicer. Whoops, let's put this one in the center like that. And we're going to want to click and drag from the tab bar to the nav controller one by one. And the relationship is view controller. And as we do this, you'll see that tabs are popping up on the tab bar controller up above since we're giving a root controller. Uh, for each of these tabs. And then for each navigation controller, we're going to want to connect a, a plain vanilla UI view controller. So drag this guy in and we can once again copy and paste this. So you can select it here and copy and paste it two, three, four, five times. And each of these navigation controllers will get one of these. So go ahead and drag those out. Whoops, looks like we selected a bunch there. Let's drag that one there. And last one. And go ahead and click and drag from the navigation controller to the view controller below it. And the relationship is gonna be root view controller. All right, one more. And before we uh, close up the storyboard here, we want to assign a class for each of these uh, view controllers. So select that first one and come over here. And the first one is going to be our home view controller. The next one is going to be our explore view controller. Basically, we're just going down the list of the things in the core tab here. So the third one is going to be our camera view controller. And some of you who are familiar with UI image pickers might be asking why we're creating a controller for the camera. Shouldn't we present the camera? Uh, and the short answer is we're gonna customize it to use audio video streams directly and we're gonna build our own camera. And that's what Instagram and apps like that and Snapchat and all these guys, TikTok, that's what they're doing. So we're gonna go through the nitty gritty of it. So, uh, so this fourth one is going to be notification view controller. And this last one is going to be your profile view controller. And before we run, actually, let's also give them some tab icons, tab bar icons. So let's select this first one here. Let's come over here and let's see, let's change this to be, we actually don't even want a title. I don't think Instagram has uh, titles, but they do in fact have icons. So we're going to say house. And the next one, I believe they have a discover, but I don't think discover is built in. I believe binoculars are though, maybe, maybe not. Let's just make this a compass for now. Interesting, looks like that's not built in either. Let's make it a globe for the time being. We can always come back and readjust these. Uh, this one is supposed to be a plus. And the notification one, there should be a bell icon, perfect. And the last one is, should be person.head or something like that. Uh, so there's person, this one looks good. And the other thing I believe, last I glanced at Instagram, these icons should not be tinted blue. 
they should be black. So we're gonna select that. And over here, we're gonna change the image tint uh, to be a dark text color. And they look appropriate now. Go ahead and hit that run button up here and let's see what we get showing up in our simulator. And of course, my simulator is in dark mode. You can change it very, very easily with a command shift A. Uh, it looks like in dark mode, this actually doesn't look right. So we'll probably go ahead and tweak this later on, but we've got our tabs now. They're hooked up to respective view controllers that are embedded in navigation controllers. And uh, I think that puts us in a pretty good place uh, to start building out these core experiences. So let's see, what else should we do before wrapping up this video? I think that about does it. The one other thing that I'll do is let's create, uh, rather let's initialize a Git repository. So I'm gonna open up terminal and CD into this project and do a Git uh, init. Um, and what we're gonna do here is simply say Git add, Git commit first, commit. And basically I'll make this code available on GitHub uh, for everyone watching, not just those who support on Patreon. So everyone can get access to this code and I'll be pushing up after each video. The other thing now that we're actually in here that we'll do, and I promise this is the last thing before we wrap up is we're going to be bringing in dependencies for things like Firebase, analytics, crash tracking, uh, some nice UI components. And we're going to bring all of those in via CocoaPods. So go ahead and do a pod init. And what that will do is, once it decides to return, if you do ls, you'll see there is now a pod file in here. So in this pod file, we're going to be adding our dependencies. We're not going to add any now to keep this video at a decent time length. But go ahead and add and commit that new change. And we'll call it a wrap there for part one. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this series. Uh, I've been looking forward to this series for a very long time. I debated making it a premium series for a very long time, but I think, I think this series is gonna be cool enough where I think it's warranted for everyone to see it. Uh, I've loved interacting with you guys here on YouTube thus far. So hopefully you guys enjoy this content as much as I'm enjoying making it. So that said, if you haven't destroyed the like button, make sure to do so as always. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Comment down below if you have anything to say or just want to say hi. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in part two.